Hi there, and welcome to this getting started session introducing the basic features of Revit MAP 2012. In this first session, we'll take a look at the default template. We'll insert a linked Revit project created in Revit architecture, and we'll look at the very helpful copy monitor function. When opening the program, your interface should look familiar to this one. In order to get started, you need to go to the application menu and make a new project and browse to the system default metric. In Windows 7, this is located under Program Data Autodesk RME 2012 Templates US Metric. Before opening, please make sure that you're creating a new project. In order to get started, we would like to insert a linked Revit model made by the architect. Browse to whatever Revit architecture projects you have available and open it positioned origin to origin. In this case, it's a simple house with a pitch roof, a few doors and windows. A few grid lines and a few rooms. I'll jump to one of my elevations and we'll notice that it's impossible to change the model. We can only mark the total link within the template. A few levels was already created. and we will use them together with the link in order to demonstrate how the copy monitor function is working. The copy monitor is located under collaborate copy monitor. In this case we want to use the link we just added to the project. Make sure that the purple line is visible before you click. First of all I'll demonstrate the monitor function which is a function that creates a relationship between elements in the map project and in our linked project. It could be a link between two levels, an architectural level and an engineering level. And we'll notice as soon as both elements has been marked that a small icon appears telling us that from now on there's a relationship created and it will be monitored. We'll finish it and to demonstrate it we will try to move the level 2 and instantly we'll, Revit will notice us or notify us that the level has been moved by 500 millimeters. Furthermore under collaborate we also see a very helpful function called coordination review. Again, we will like to make a coordination review of our uh, linked model and we'll get a small message here telling us the same as the warning before. To demonstrate the difference between copy and monitor, we'll now try to copy a module line, a grid line, by pressing copy and we will make a copy of the grid E and A. You can also choose multiple but for simplification we'll only select E and A. And we notice right away that the monitoring symbol also appears which means when you copy, you monitor at the same time. And to demonstrate this, we'll try to move these two grid lines in order to make the house wider. And once again, we'll be warned 
And a similar thing will happen if we move grid line A. And furthermore, once again, the coordination review will automatically also be updated. We'll select the link. And we now notice that two grid lines has been moved and the level has still been moved. So the copy monitor function can be used in various aspects to copy not only grid lines and levels, but also building parts, walls, columns, and so on, created by the architect and um, reused by the engineer in the Revit MEP project. Thank you for listening. I hope this small demonstration of using linked Revit projects and of the copy monitor function was helpful. And I hope that you will be around for the coming sessions. Take care.